today I want to show you one of the things that we do for the first time and life will never be the same. We won't remember how it worked before it changed. And that is a browser that actually does things for us. So I'm talking about Comet, the browser from Perplexity. It's the first, I'm sure all the others will have the same functionality, but for now, it's the one we have access to. Let me show you what magic it can do. So here I am inside Comet. It's a nice booking browser and I've got my AI assistant on the side, but that's not enough to impress us today, is it? So here's what, where some magic happens. Let me show you one. Here I am in Google Maps and this week I was in the West Inn in Perth and I can say, I am at the West Inn in Perth. I have an hour before I have to get to the airport and I want to see some good view before I go. This actually happened a couple of days ago. And then I say, uh, find me a nice viewpoint in Perth and make me a plan on the map to get there and to the airport. All right. It's starting to search. We know this functionality from perplexity. It's finding some scenic viewpoints. It makes some decisions on which one it's going to to choose for me and it's getting some directions fun part about so we can see that it's clicking around so he, when it turns blue like this now it took over the browser and it's using the browser here to make searches it's literally typing in google maps so anything we can do in a browser it can do in a browser i can stop it if i feel like it's messing things up the other thing is that I can now move around. I can leave it working here and I'll go and do another thing. So I've gone on Amazon here and I can say, find me the book AI Magic. That's my book that I released a couple of weeks ago and add three copies of it to the shopping cart. Let's see what that does. It's going to work on that. And now they're working in parallel. This one is still preparing my map. Oh, it made it here. This one made me my map with my viewpoint and the airport. And then Amazon, it's still working here to prepare that one. I want to show you some more magic that happens here. Oh, there's the book, AI Magic. That's my book. Um, and it's adding to the shopping cart. While they're still working, I can continue. This is a document that I get every week from my team and they show and they prepare some links for me to post where there's comments I need to reply on. And so, yes, I reply to all the comments myself on LinkedIn. And so I can, I need to open each one of them. This is something that takes me a few minutes every time that I need to do this. So I can say, go through all the links I highlighted under posts that need comment reply and open each one in a separate tab. Now that's gonna work. So Amazon, is that still working? That's still working. We can see the blue area and I can stop it if I wanna take over. The map is ready. And now this one, we can see it right clicking and it will start opening tabs. There we go, starting tab one tab and it will start another tab and just open everything for me. This one's still working. So coming back to our Amazon one, that one's done. And there's three copies of the book in the cart. I've played with it and I got it to search for interesting things for me. I needed a new printer. So I got it to search for different printers under a certain uh, specification that I needed and, and add all of them to the shopping cart so I can then choose. We can see that the, this one is opening all those posts for me. I can leave it and go on doing other things. The parallel work here is phenomenal. And what happens when this one's finished? Now this one finished opening all my tabs and I can say, um, put all of the tab, all of these tabs in a group. And look at that magic that's gonna happen up the top here. Look, it put them all in a nice group for me. 
I tried it with asking it to organize all my tabs alphabetically, group them into topics without telling it exactly what. It's AI, it will figure it out. So here we go, we've got a browser. I don't think it needs to be called a browser anymore because it doesn't just browse, it actually does things. It's an assistant and it's a helper that I can send to prepare things for me, organize things for me. I played with it this week and I got it to start a new Google Sheet or a new spreadsheet, uh, organize it this way and that way fill out this column with those values. I asked it to find super fans that are relevant for a 17 year old based on this criteria, open each one in a tab and then put them in a group and then compare them. Anything that I can log into, it can do work for me. Is it perfect? Not at all. It made some really silly mistakes in some po at some points. It struggled to rename something and kept copying and pasting things. It got a lot of things wrong, but it's very young. It's a few weeks old. It's gonna be amazing. Hi, an update from me. Last Friday, we had an online meetup around AI meeting assistants. We had five people who use different meeting assistant systems join in and tell us about how they use it and everybody could ask questions. The recording will drop in our online community. And this Friday, we're gonna start setting it up for everyone and together in another meetup, talk about how it impacts policy and how it should fit in your workflow. The following week, we'll go advanced workflows, advanced integrations, and advanced prompting. If you wanna join, in bal.com.au slash community.